Alright everyone, it's Sam here. Welcome back to Season 5 of Former Xbox. We're here for Round 6 today at Monaco. And here I am on my qualifying lap. Now, I'm <laughs> very annoyed at the minute because I'm literally recording this right after the Man United Liverpool game and we just got wrecked 3-0. So now I'm really pissed off and I'm in the mood for a rant kind of video except that this phrase actually goes well so I can't do that. So now I'm even more annoyed. So that's great. Anyway, let's get into this then. We're on our lap. We've got a purple first sector now then. And it's going pretty well so far in fourth place. And coming up now through Portier now into the tunnel. And hopefully we can set a pretty good qualifying lap here because, uh, well, we got pole position here in Pinnacle. So maybe we can do that again. And uh, well, if it's heavy rain in the race, we may be able to pull up a miracle win once again. But here we are then. We've going pretty well so far on this lap then heading through to back now and through the swimming pool section and well we're not purple anymore but we're still on a personal best here so we may get a decent place on the grid here now then well, we're still uh, in a good place now in fourth but we want to be higher up than that ideally because it's Monaco and every position counts as we're coming across the line now then and it's gonna be well we're staying fourth for now unfortunately so it doesn't look like there's going to be any improvement and we well, we stay fourth for the rest of the session then so there we go it's per race non pole from Mr. Jokers and RSGM and uh, yeah no teammate for me once again so I guess I could rant about that but <laughs> I'm so used to it now that uh, it doesn't even seem to matter much but um, here we go then on the grid it's well it says I'm in fifth again because there's connection issues going on again once again with Hickey as well so yeah I guess he could be raging about it, I guess, but here we are then on the grid and waiting for the lights to come on now. And away we go in Monaco and it's not the best start, although there's a bit of lag going on once again with last drum, so that could have been why there's a little bit of contact going into turn one and um, we're going side by side now with Casey Legend up the hill towards uh, Massene or Casino Square, whichever way around it is, I can't remember, but We've got the inside line for it either way, and we're going to hold on to fourth place for now. Then on this first lap, so it's going pretty well for us. We were fourth place on the first lap in Spain as well, although we started that race in sixth. So um, yeah, it does go to show our better qualifying here, really. But we're in the same place that we were in last time, so I mean, it's nice to be once again up near the front with the uh, big boys, as I said before. And um, yeah, heading through the tunnel then on the first lap, still in fourth. So yeah, it's been. A decent start for us then, we're going to get another lap 5 because I was really just following these guys. I dropped back from him a little bit but there's some kind of incident up ahead in pro racing. Seems to have got some damage and um, it looks like I've just about squeezed through past him as he was recovering. It looks like Mr. Joker has lost his front wing there so we should be able to get past him quite quickly here now then and hopefully we won't get held up too much by him as we're going through it, going through past him um, <laughs> as we're heading towards the tunnel but he seems to have better straight line speed than us obviously with much less aero now and through we go then in that right hander in the tunnel of course he just had no grip so through we go into second place going pretty well for us so far then just skip into the next lap now and RS Dram is pitted then already so a very early stop for him I'm not sure why but um, yeah it's proved to be a pretty bad decision for him because uh, by the next lap he's already gonna have retired from the race I actually forgot to put, to put that in but yeah he retired from the race and well, you can see he's gone there because they're uh, number of people left has gone down and I think his teammate Justin Midget was, was the other person who um, went as well in fact so here we are then for our pit stop and GFX Master destroys his vehicle that could be a safety car as um, we're coming in then for our change to the prime tyres pro racing style on prime so we'll be going on to options at some point and maybe the safety car will be a chance for him to do just that and I think Silent Mole might have done the same thing but I never thought to check on his tyres so um, yeah we'll just have to uh, see how things play out really where and um, yeah halfway around lap 9 the safety car does finally get deployed for some reason the um, officials at Monaco are a bit slow with the uh, decision there and uh, safety cars coming in then at the end of lap 11 and we're back in the lead then so it's, um, yeah with RS Tram out of the race then just after his pit stop so yeah we've got a very good chance here but with pro racing on fresh option tyres will, will we be able to hold on to this? I was thinking that his tyres would probably go off by the end of the race and that I would probably have the better rubber at the end but we'll have to see how it goes because he's going to have better rubber now as we come across the line then to start the uh, 12th lap of 20 it's going to be a long 9 laps to the end of the race here 
and we've got it through the first corner without too much troubles but it's going to be a long old haul from here we're skipping to lap 16 now where we're barely keeping ahead of him as another person has dropped out of the race it's only seven left now into Ras Cast and I've run a bit wide and it looks like he's going to come inside here and he's got the inside line there's nothing I can do about it now he's got the line on the position he's thrown into the lead and that is gutting with only just over four laps to go and I've lost the lead then and into turn one and uh, it doesn't look like we're really going to have much of a chance to get past him now then because he just maintained that pace afterwards but it was a very good race for us in the end and um, sort of raised mode aside I'm glad that my podium came here because I expect this will probably be my only podium of the season and it's nice that um, for Mauricio it was at Monaco of course the track where uh, Jules got the points for the real F1 team there so it's kind of fitting I think that uh, to, well to get the podium here I think for them because it's probably the only one as I say that I'm going to get this season uh, unless um, another miracle happens in another race but um, yeah it's two pretty fun races the last couple and um, yeah certainly redeemed well the game certainly redeemed itself for a few of the bad races I've had in Pinnacle lately so if you enjoyed this leave a like and I'll see you next time goodbye